Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we created this image. Out of the camera, no post-production, this is what you see, is what we will get in next 5-7 minutes. This is a short tutorial from what we had made uh, for the whole workshop for professional membership program, uh, which is posted on 40g.com slash pro. This is where you can watch everything and uh, participate in the critique and review if you do your homework. But for all of you who are just our subscriber, this is a short tutorial. I hope it will be useful for you, okay? If it is, uh, please like this video and share it with your friends. So, let's start. The very first thing is the composition. But before we do any uh, talk about, you know, shooting, let me tell you what we're going to use, what kind of light. This is an interesting thing because we're going to use, we're going to mix continuous and strobe lighting, okay? We're going to use uh, this super cool Godox S30 lights that we had reviewed recently. Uh, you can watch the review, here is the link, and actually a little kind of workshop as well. We're going to use these lights, two of them. It's a spotlight, it's projection light uh, through the lens. Uh, pretty awesome LED light. Plus, uh, we're going to use the strobe, the broncolor, all together. It works perfectly for any product shot, so stay with me, I'll show you how. We are using a Sony 87R3 camera with 50mm lens, and if you can look through the viewfinder, it's a wide open setup, because you see lots of bokeh, okay? On the composition, as you can see, I made some um, composition uh, using this uh, well, natural branches from pine trees, uh, some Christmas lights, some other stuff that basically creates that moody atmosphere. And to have it to look good, we need to have nice bokeh. If we'll close the aperture from what I have here, 2.0 to, uh, one second, to let's say uh, f8, usually this is what I use. Look at this. It's lost all the st things, it's basically lost, there is nothing really interesting in this. Once we have it uh, wide open, almost wide open, it looks good. So we're going to use f2.0 aperture. Wow, this is unusual, unusual for product photographers, but for this type of shot, it's the most important thing to do for such shot is a composition. What you see here is not good. Why? This gap is not good. It's not good like this when we have uh, subject. It shouldn't touch, it shouldn't be a little gap. It should be some overlap, okay? So this is what we do. We do uh, a little overlapping one in front of another. The bottle, okay, bottle looks good. You see what is going on? There is a little gap. It's almost touching the glass of uh, champagne. Imagine that this champagne glass, even though it's not. This is not good. We never shoot like this. We need either to put it far away or what I prefer, we need to have overlap. Same thing between these two glasses. One glass should be behind. Okay, so this way it looks good. Then we have some uh, uh, cookies. We have a cookies box, so it's sort of like an advertising shot since we are product photographers, but the composition is Christmas moody thing. So, the light. You see, I have two gels. One red, one uh, uh, blue. Why green? It's blue, one blue that I have stick here and we have sort of double uh, color on our background. You see how cool it is, right? You see on the viewfinder, some of the branches are red, some of them are blue. On the other side, I have another light, the same as 30 Godox light. Let me turn it on with the orange gel, okay? You see what is going on, right? And look at this, look how different uh, Things may look when we have light, light from behind touching our glass. It immediately looks really cool. So now the exposure, how we need to calculate the exposure. Definitely we need to shut down all the light in the studio. So no ambient lighting since we use continuous light and take a shot. Right now it will be only continuous light, okay? Going to shut down the studio. And I'm looking at the viewfinder of my camera. It shows me that f2.0 ISO 50. I need ISO 50 for this because it's really wide open. I'll tell you later, later why. It's one-fifth of a second, okay? One-fifth of a second is 
minus 0.3 exposure compensation, I mean the, the exposure meter of the camera showing me. So it's a little bit darker and this is exactly what I need. I put camera on self-timer two seconds. Why? Because it's long exposure. I don't want to touch camera and uh, have any motion blur while I clicking on the shutter. I need to use either remote, trigger, or I can use the self-timer work boss. So let's do. Okay, this is what we see. The uh, exposure is correct, but slightly darker, right? It's slightly darker. Now let's add one more light. Let's add our strobe light. So I'm turning on brown color, okay? We have strip box here and we have a diffuser. And diffuser touches the box specific way. Let me turn on modeling light so you see what is going on, okay? It creates what? It creates a gradient, if you have seen my tutorials. This is the key. It creates gradient with sharp cutoff line. It's not good when we have light behind the diffuser without touching the diffuser. It will be too soft reflection. If you know what I'm talking about, great. If not, check out this video where I'm talking about five of the most um, common and uh, crazy mistakes that photographers do uh, all the time. They shoot uh, glass with uh, light through the diffuser. Don't make those mistakes. We need to have sharp cutoff line. It's immediately being seen here. And this is what we perceive as a glossy surface with sharp cutoff line. I'm turning off modeling light now. No need because we don't need any other lights and turning off the rest and let's take a picture. Okay, so here we go. Looks cool, right? It already looks cool. One thing that I can show you that will look even better. Look at these glasses. They sort of okay, right? But they just plain, especially uh, at the bottom. Nothing, nothing really nice here. Let me touch with that light. Remember I was telling you, let me hit it. So I move it a little bit. So it hit not only branches behind that spotlight, the same light as we have here. Okay, I have it same there. But it also goes through the glasses now and see what will happen in this case. Boom. Here's the difference. So this and this. Same light. I changed position, basically one degree change, right? Uh, the direction of light. And see how much difference we have. This is what I'm talking about. Little changes that can do dramatic uh, effect on your image. Okay, this is it. This is a really, really short version of the tutorial. The whole workshop, why this light is uh, chosen, uh, but not other lights. Many other things uh, on Pro Club membership, on professional membership on FortiG, uh, plus ability to do your homework, submit it, and I will see it and personally review your submission within two weeks. This is what we do on Pro Club. And uh, have a good holidays, guys. <laughs> have fun with your friends and family, okay? Goodbye, see you next time. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see my next one. It's coming soon. Those candies, no, candles. Candles or candies? Candies, candles. It's crazy. This one won't work. Cookies. Hmm. Cookies.